I was a licensed Texas peace officer for 13 years. After I got my law license and began a practice of criminal defense, I decided that I would stay on par or even better than I ever was as a police officer when it came to training. When I started doing DWI work, I went and got my practitioner certification and the standardized field sobriety test. That wasn't good enough, so I went and got my instructor certification. I wanted to know what the guys know that teach the guys on the street. So I went through that training. When they started talking about doing the DRE programs across our nation, the drug recognition expert, I went and got my DRE training so that they couldn't pull the wool over my eyes or take advantage of any of my clients. And another thing about that DRE expert status, the cops first started calling it the DIRT program, but they didn't like the way it sounded, dirt. So they changed it to drug recognition evaluator, but that didn't sound good enough, so they just decided to take a pen and change the name to drug recognition expert. I assure you, almost any one of you folks could go through the same program I went through and you could call yourself a drug recognition expert when you find out that one of the 12 steps that the police officers have to do before they can say that they've completed the program or, or the testing on you is they ask for a sample of your urine and then they analyze it. Well, it's not all that difficult to state that you've used marijuana when I get back a lab test that shows you used marijuana and also one of the steps or stages of the testing is I ask you what drug you used. So if you tell me you smoked marijuana and your urine says you smoked marijuana, it's pretty good odds that I'm going to put down on a piece of paper that you smoked marijuana. It's just one of the little tricks the police officers use to try to make the minimal training they have look like it's more important and special than it really is. When they started talking about drawing blood, this was about four years ago, I went and got my phlebotomy license immediately. I went through an eight hour course in which I not only gave my blood, but I drew blood from people I didn't even know. And there was a, just a ton of information that I learned about how those blood draws can be done incorrectly. The police officers can make a number of mistakes they can cause the alcohol in your blood to read higher than it actually is if they don't absolutely follow the protocol. Uh, one of the other things that, that uh, individually troubles me when I'm in a courtroom is that the prosecutors will talk about how relatively easy it is to prove a case beyond a reasonable doubt. Well, I'll tell you, I stand by this. The prosecutor's job and their duty is to remove each and every reasonable doubt from their case. They should have bent in their soul the mission of eliminating 100% of reasonable doubt, or at the end of the trial, they should stand up and tell the jury and the judge that they did not do their job adequately with what they had to work with, and so therefore the client should be found not guilty as a matter of law. You won't find that amongst very many prosecutors nowadays. Although I do want to say we have some very ethical prosecutors in Bear County, and I've really enjoyed having trials in these courtrooms. We don't win them all, but we win plenty of trials when we're forced to go to trial in Bear County and in the surrounding counties. I think I can say without a doubt that probably we're hitting uh, over 90% success in our DWI caseload of being able to let our clients walk out of a courtroom when all is said and done without a DWI conviction. Something that we're very proud of over here. We care about you. We want to do a great job for you. We want to do such a good job for you that you go out and tell your friends, your family, your neighbors that if they ever get in trouble with a DWI or any other criminal matter to give us a shout, we'll take care of you.